What up, Hyperchange? Welcome to another episode. Earnings season is right around the corner. Your favorite companies are about to report their financials for Q3 2019. So in this episode, I want to talk about my favorite tool to track my company's earnings and financials. Of course, I'm talking about Hypercharts, the financial data visualization platform that Hyperchange has been working on in partnership with Mo. Shout out to Mo. Um, we released this in January. Um, it's basically the tool that I've always wished existed and I, I thought there was a huge need for in the financial space turning hundreds of pages of complex SEC filings and company financials, uh, which are all public but very hard to read, into very easy to read, easy to manage charts um, that are interactable, um, that are honestly just frankly fun. And so we built this platform since January. You, uh, if you've been watching the channel, you probably remember um, us launching it. We started with five companies. Now we've expanded to over 50. Um, we've launched a premium mode with a bunch of epic new features. So um, without further ado, welcome to the world of Hypercharts. I want to show you guys what we've been working on. So so this is the Hypercharts homepage. Um, one of the coolest new features that I'm seeing already is press releases. So this is Hypercharts. I feel like it's sort of evolving into the investor relation, relation page for all your favorite companies. Um, for instance, let's go to Beyond Meat here. Um, you can see we've added in the overview page um, a ton of new different interesting features. These are press releases directly from the company. So you can see the news the company's reported. Um, we're pulling these directly from the company's website. If you want to go to their website, you can click right there. And all of a sudden, I'm on Beyond Meat's uh, website website, checking out their products, all that stuff, the, the PLT, plant lettuce, tomato, that looks interesting. If I want to just go straight to the investor relations page, I can go here. So this is essentially a way, a uh, launching pad for you to get access to all of the company's uh, basic websites. Sometimes this can be harder to find than you think. Ad additionally, right below investor relations here, we have SEC filings. So you can click um, right on the company's SEC filings and go into you know their latest 8K, their latest 10Q, all of that good stuff. I think this is an amazing feature to sort of consolidate all of the info and news on your company. Um, this is something we just launched this quarter. So now back to the Beyond Meat main financials page, I wanna show you guys something that is so, so exciting um, that I've been working with uh, with Mo on for, for about a month, a couple months now. And I think this is gonna be a game changer, at least for me personally, and I potentially think everybody who is an individual investor. This is the edit estimates feature. So this is basically a, a, a way to basically synthesize in, instead of making a whole Google sheet or an Excel document to try and calculate your company's financials, do a whole spread spreadsheet situation for each new company, we have basically dumbed down the key metrics for each company, revenue, gross profit, R&D, SG&A, operating income, and you can plug them in and then you can visualize them. And I think this is an amazing way to sort of, you know, put pen to paper, do some back of the napkin math, see, you know, with your growth estimates, what you think a company could be worth. So let's just do this with Beyond Meat so I can show you guys um, how this all works. So if I'm from the main page of Beyond Meat, I go here, I just click on the edit estimates feature. This is a premium feature, by the way. So um, we've been rolling out a bunch of features for premium, which is 10 bucks a month. It actually has a two week free trial um, that you can sign up for. So if you just wanna play around and, and do it, but you know, we have to make money somehow. And I actually think 10 bucks a month is a huge, huge steal for the amount of features we've added and are continue adding. But anyway, of course I'm biased. So let's just get right into this. We're starting with Q3, I've added the quarter. Um, as you can see, we're gonna go into revenue. Um, I'm not gonna do retail and food service, but you can estimate those if you want to. So for revenue, I think they said that Q2 was seasonally strong for the company, and so I don't want to assume too much growth. So I'm going to go with 70 in terms of revenue. I'll assume improvements in gross profit. Let's say R&D stays flat at 4.2. Let's say SG&A goes up a little bit to 16. No restructuring. My operating expenses are 20.2, and we're looking at operating income of 4.8. And so there you go. And before we go to the visualization page, I actually want to add another quarter so it'll fill in the full year of 2019 because I think that'll be helpful. Q4 may be a little bit better, but still seasonally not as good, but they're just growing organically. So we'll go with that. Some improvements in the gross margin. Um, R&D, let's bump that up to 4.5. SG&A, uh, let's bump that up to 17. No restructuring. And it's actually calculating that for me here, which is another new feature we built into this, which is really, really useful. And so now we have operating income of 6.5 million that next quarter. So anyway, let's go just go to save estimate here. And now this is so cool. Bam. Now you have seen my estimates visualized here. Um, and so, and I can go back and click edit estimates, edit them anytime if I want to. Um, super easy and intuitive, just add quarters. So you can see I have the revenue scaling. I have the gross profit scaling. We can even zoom in and toggle. Um, I can hover. It's this is just awesome. And so I'm going to be using this more and more to actually show you guys what I'm estimating for companies. And in episodes, as you can see, I have Beyond Me continuing to grow profitably. Um, 
And what's really cool here is we can go to the annual view and we can see what this looks like for Beyond Meat. As you can see, so the, the criticism with Beyond Meat here is looking at a market cap of 8.3 billion. Uh, the stock price has been absurd. Actually, let's just check that out. We can go to the max stock price since IPO, which was in May, 2019. Uh, it says here it opened at around 65, but I think that actually priced the IPO at 25, but it jumped in early trading, went over to 220, now still way up here around 140. But the point is that leads to a market cap of about 8.3 billion. Everyone's like, how could you have a market cap of 8.3 billion if you're only making you know 80 million in revenue last year? Well, because if we extrapolate what they're gonna do, I thought my numbers were pretty conservative. Looking at a company that went from 88 million in revenue to 252 million in revenue in one year. Not only that, but their gross profit improved dramatically to 87 million from 17 million and they went actually to being profitable. Yes, it was a small profit of only 8 million, but the company is profitable. And then if you start to extrapolate that growth, we, I can start to model in um, uh, future estimates if I want as well. And I could add quarters all the way through 2020, input that data there. The point is this will actually go as far out as you want. If I put out a WeWork video where I modeled their financials to 2021, just to experiment. Of course, I didn't have them getting the profitability, but um, the point is here, I think this is a, such a cool feature and an easy way for you to start estimating and extrapolating company financials, especially in hyperchange, when you need to be thinking ahead. Yes, it's important to understand what the company's reported in the past, but I think starting to extrapolate or predict what you think is gonna happen in the future, and then you know that's how I make investing decisions. How much do I think the company's gonna earn in a couple years based on these assumptions? And this makes it so, so easy. And the other really cool thing about this is, is I can just go here to um, share this link. So now we're taking this page where I have a distinct URL here and I'm actually taken to a page and it says viewing galleys estimates. So this is a public page that will get updated as I update my estimates and you can toggle around with not only Beyond Meat's historical financials, but also check out what I'm estimating. So going forward in the future, um, I've, I've been playing around with this feature. I'm gonna start modeling my, my favorite companies. Tesla's earnings are coming up soon. So I'm gonna start putting in my estimates on hyper, chain, on hyper charts, keeping them up to date. Um, and I'm just extremely pumped about this feature and, and how we're gonna continue to evolve it. Just wanted to hit on another quick thing we've added, a referral code. So if you are a premium member, you can refer um, other people and you'll get a free month. And so uh, this is my referral code. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description uh, to the link if you wanna sign up and I'll get a free month of HyperCharts. So we're still working on more and more perks for the referral program. This is something our premium users has have asked for, so we decided to roll it out. Um, but anyway, that is HyperCharts. I am a, is such a huge fan of this product. I mean, just for instance, like we've added Bitcoin to um, a bunch of key indicators, market price, market capitalization, confirmed transactions per day, hash rate, you can change the timing on this going way back. Um, so we're constantly innovating and improving here uh, to, to add what we think are the most relevant assets to HyperChange. That wraps up this episode on HyperCharts. Heading into earnings season, um, make sure to check HyperCharts, see your company financials. If you're actually a premium user, we have another feature where all your favorite companies that you've starred will get emailed, their earnings will get emailed to your inbox as they come in, um, I'm a big fan of that as well. And also want to make this episode just to get your feedback. Um, we've been rolling out more and more stuff of HyperCharts. Want to know, are you using the platform? Do you like the platform? What would you want to see us work on? Um, are you a free user? Are you a premium user? You know, How do you think about the value there? Um, just let us know everything below because we're really building this as a tool for the investment community. You know, It's something that me and Mo uh, want to use to do our own investment research. And I think it's been super, super helpful for me personally. And I want to get make sure it gets the most value for you guys as well. So please let us know what you want to see and we will try and build it. That's the coolest part about HyperCharts is that um, it, it it's started as a tiny small thing and we've expanded it so much and I think we're only getting started. So please leave it below. Um, the Pokedex for financial data, HyperCharts. Go to hypercharts.co to check it out. This is HyperChange. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.